How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to an episode here on Let's Build Twitter. As always, I'm Ethan Aronum Coder, your favorite underqualified senior software engineer. And as always, if you guys do want access to the private repository, there's a link in the description down below that'll walk through exactly how to gain access to that. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and hop into what we're working on today. Today, we're going to go ahead and show some love to the Your List section. So, that's going to go ahead and fill it out so that we can go ahead and actually see all of the list cards that we have. And then we're also going to go ahead and work on being able to actually pin them. And after that, We'll kind of just see where we get to but i think that's the primary plan for the day so with that being said let's go ahead and hop in the code get to work and start being able to see stuff inside of your list back inside of our front end code we need to go ahead and set up the rest of your list so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come to the top here and we're going to set up a little bit of state so we already have our logged in and our loading list next we're going to go ahead and say a const pinned list equal to list.filter and then we're going to go ahead and filter each list and then here, what we're going to go and do is we're going to say list dot pinned by dot sum. And we're going to go ahead and pass in the user. And then here, we're going to go ahead and say user, whoops, user dot user ID is equal to. And then we're going to go ahead and say logged in question mark dot user ID. So we're going to see if it's pinned by us. And then we're going to say const unpinned list is equal to lists dot filter. We're going to do basically the same thing list and then we're going to go ahead and say not list dot pinned by and then dot sum whoops sum and then here we're going to have user and then once again we're going to go ahead and say user dot user id is equal to and then whoops logged in question mark dot user id so we're going to go ahead and split these depending on whether or not we have pinned them or not. Obviously, none of them are going to be pinned yet. So the pinned list is going to be kind of empty, but it is what it is. So now we have our loading list. That's fine. We have a circular dependency. We have our your list. Now we need to go ahead. Instead of just mapping the list, we want to go ahead and map through the pinned list first because those are the ones that are supposed to be at the top. And we'll go ahead and map through the non-pinned list. We're going to say pinned uh, list dot map. We're going to go ahead and map through each list. We're going to go ahead and set up this and then make sure we close that. And then inside of here, we're going to go ahead and return. And now we'll go ahead and return our list card inside our list card. Our list is going to be equal to the list here. Our hover, whoops, hover enabled is going to equal to true. And then we're going to go ahead and say display options is going to be equal to true. And then finally, we're going to show pin is equal to true because we don't want to follow these ones. We want to pin them. And then we want to do basically the same thing for unpinned. So we're going to go ahead and say un, whoops, and list dot map and list through each map. And then in here, we're going to go ahead and say return once again. Inside of here, we're going to have our list card. List is going to be equal to list. And then hover enabled, whoops, enabled is going to equal to true and display options will be equal to true and then finally show pin will also be equal to true whoops not pin true so that should be our list card component now let's go ahead and actually style this guy up to look better inside of your list we're going to have a dot your dash list and then here we're just going to have with 100 we're going to go ahead and have a height whoops that's fine height is equal to fit dash content then we're going to have a dot your list dash header and here we're going to have width we 100 percent we'll go ahead and have a margin whoops margin maybe of zero we're going to go ahead and have a padding of 12 px and 16 px and then we're going to have a display of flex a justify content in the center actually we don't have that we just have an align items in the center and then we'll font dash size this about 20 px and then a font dash weight of 800 so that should hopefully fingers crossed be looking good so let's go ahead and hop into the front end and make sure this all looks good before we hop into the back end and work on being able to pin a list from that perspective now you can see our list you can see that we have our pins now obviously if you click on these pins nothing happens so that's looking good i tried to make a private list on private list a few of these and i accidentally made one under summer still and then as you can also see i made one that's not private but you can see kind of what the private list looks like so on and so forth so now let's go ahead and if we also just follow 
little random one you can also see what that looks like and then now what we want to go in to be able to do is be able to click this pin it should go to the top of the list and then it should stay there so with that being said let's go and hop into the back end and work on being able to pin these things starting out we're going to be inside of the custom feed service let's just go ahead and come below our follow or unfollow list for user i'm going to go ahead and make a custom public custom feed and this is going to be pin or un whoops un pin list and let's see how i spelled this like this pin list for user here we're going to have the integer and list id again and then we're going to go and have an application user user let's go ahead and hop in here so once again we have custom feed list maybe is equal to and this is going to be custom feed repository dot we're going to go find by id once again and here we're going to pass in that list id and then otherwise or else throw which should never happen but we'll go ahead and throw a custom feed does not exist exception colon colon new so that's looking good and then here we're going to have a set of application user and this is going to be pins equal to list dot get and whoops and buy like so so that's looking good and then we're going to go ahead and kind of do something similar to the follow so if pins that contains and we're going to go ahead and pass in that user here we're going to go ahead and say pins dot remove and then that user otherwise we're going to go ahead and just do the opposite pins dot add and then pass in that user so then we can pin or unpin it list dot set pinned by and we're going to go ahead and pass in those pins and then finally we'll return our custom feed repository dot save whoops dot save and then in here we'll go ahead and pass in that list so update that list in the database and send it back to the front end to be able to render so now let's go and hop into the custom feed controller inside the custom feed controller let's just go ahead and go below the follow and there's going to be another at put mapping so at put mapping this one is going to go to slash pin slash id looks good and then we're going to say public public and this is going to be custom maybe custom feed and update and five i get typed that'd be cool we're going to add path variable and then here we're going to have id oh my goodness i really just scuffed that and then outside of id we're going to go ahead and say integer id and then we'll also have an application user user like so and here it's going to return custom uh, feed service dot pin or unpin list for user we'll go ahead and pass in the id and the user and that should be that let's go and save that up it says those compile error but it should be fine so now let's go hop into our application console and make sure this refreshed it looks like it did but i'm just going to go ahead and restart it anyway for the heck of it cool now let's hop into postman just make a few more lists that way we can actually see them so let's log in to summer again so this one is like ss summertime I believe and let's go ahead and say password cool okay and let's go ahead and grab her token and let's just make a few test lists to follow so we're going to go into our headers go into our bear and replace this and then go into the body and we're just going to go ahead and say a test list to follow a test list to follow and then we'll go ahead and say a test list to follow we'll go ahead and put one on here Let's go ahead and make sure this says three. That's why I went wrong last time. You should probably do a check to make sure it's the correct user, but it is what it is. We'll say another test list to follow. And we'll do three. And four. And five. Okay, we're going to change this to five. We're going to go ahead and log in as unknown coder. So unknown coder. Hopefully I spelled that right. We're going to go ahead and grab my header or token. And we're going to go ahead and go into the headers. Go ahead and go into bear. Paste that in. Then that. And I totally forgot to update it. So now there's two test lists to follow fives. But um, a list made by me. And then we'll go ahead and say this is a list by me. Okay. And then we'll say a private. And that one was all of those were private. Gosh dang it. Uh, false. A list made by me um that's not private okay and now we're going to remake all of those 
list that were test list to follow. So SS summertime, I messed up in that. Grab her token and must not send it before we make sure it's not private. Go into headers, go in here, do that, go into body. Okay, so now we put back three, it's not private. And a list, a test list to follow. And then we'll go ahead and say a test list to follow and go ahead and put one back on this since the other one was private one two um three four five our data is kind of a mess right now but let's just hop in the front and make sure we can actually see some so if we go ahead and refresh okay so we can see we have some in here we have a couple private ones on accident it is what it is we can see that we have our non-private ones we can go ahead and Click on one to follow it. That looks good. Oh, that looks good. Let's go ahead and hop in the front end into the um, list slice and get that set up so we can go ahead and work on actually pinning these guys. So inside the list slice, I believe all we really need to be able to do is update and create the create async thunk. And I was going to go ahead and wrap up some other pieces, but I'm going to go ahead and wait until we get to that point to actually do that. Um, so we're going to go and say export const, and this is going to be pin or un and then this is going to be list is equal to create async dunk like so and then in here we're going to go ahead and say the name is list slash pin and here we're going to have our async and then this is going to have our payload oops maybe payload and this is going to be pin list request and then we're going to have our thunk api let's go inside of our error function and here we'll set up a try catch and inside the catch, we're going to go ahead and have our return dunk API that reject the value, pass in E. And then inside of here, we're going to say const res equal to await axios. And this is going to be a put, so dash put. And then it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash local host colon 8000 slash and then list, oops, list slash pin slash dollar sign curly brace and then payload dot list id and i need to make sure that i actually do this properly let me make sure these are back ticks so this is back ticks this is back ticks okay we're gonna have our payload dot user and we need to go ahead and set up our headers so headers and then here we're gonna go ahead and have our authorization so authorization maybe if i could not typo and then back ticks back ticks bear dollar sign curly brace payload dot token looks good and then we'll go ahead and say return res dot data so was there an actual issue here so this should be headers with an s there we go looks a lot better that looks good to go now let's hop down to our reducers down on reducers let's go below the fulfilled for our follow unfollow when to add our uh, builder dot add case and this is going to be pin or un and list and then in here we'll have our state in our action and we will go ahead and do our error function and then here we're going to say const updated list is equal to state dot list dot map and i don't know how i'm actually dealing with adding and moving this might be a foresight so we'll see here here we're going to go ahead and i guess it's because we're updating the pinned by maybe but we're going to go map each list so like this and then we're going to say if and then list.id is equal to action.payload whoops dot id and this is going to go ahead and return action.payload and then otherwise we're just going to go ahead and return the list and then we're going to go ahead and return dot 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 state and then we're going to list are going to be updated list so we only need to update the list on this one and let's also make sure we say dot fulfilled here and then action dot payload that should be fine cool so that should go ahead and set that up now i just need to go through and set it up to be able to actually pin these lists so let's go and hop into the list card and set that up let's come in here below the handle follow clicked and create a const handle pin clicked like so equal to e react dot mouse event and this will once again be on html div element like so and then let's go ahead and say e.stop propagation to start out. And we're gonna check if our logged in and whoops and our token. So make sure that we are logged in. Make sure we have our authentication token. 
So we're going to go ahead and dispatch. Um, dispatch. If I could type. Oh, it's because I have an extra L. Oh my goodness. Dispatch. And then here we're going to go ahead and dispatch pin or unpin list. Let's go ahead and import that. And then in here, if I could type once again, that'd be cool. We're going to go ahead and pass in the list ID is the list.id. Once again, our user is going to be logged in. We're going to pass in our token. And then let's go ahead and come down to where we have our pin. So here, if we're going to go ahead and pin this, and I don't know, I don't know if the on click's supposed to be on this or on these push pin outlets. I need to go ahead and double check that. It seems like it's supposed to be here. So we're going to go ahead and do this. That makes sense, actually. So handle um, pin clicked like so let's go ahead and save that and now in theory we should be able to click it it should pin and it should move to the top of the list and if we click it it should just move back to wherever so let's hop into the front end let's take a look what this looks like and then we're going to see if we want to go ahead and continue working today or not we'll see so back in here let's just give it a refresh to give ourselves the best chance possible so now if we go ahead and just like fall pin this list we should be able to click on it okay nothing happened let's see network did it fail so it did fail. Let's see what's happening. So list pin seven, um, object references and unsaved transit instance. Okay. Why is this all of a sudden an issue? I love these issues. Let me go ahead and open up the back end. So let's see which object. I don't know if it's going to be the application user. It is acting like the user is not coming back properly. You know what? I think I forgot to put the request body. Let's go ahead and double check that. I think I did. Okay. That is why I ran into this before because I forgot the at request body. Okay, so that was just a stupid mistake. Let's go ahead and go back into the console again. It's restarting, but I'm going to restart it one more time just to be safe here. Okay, let's hop in to the front end one more time. Actually, I lied. Let's hop into Postman and just create a quick list to follow or to pin. So go ahead and say test list to pin maybe. And then this would just be test list to pin and then we'll go ahead and make id5 and then what we'll go and do is we're going to see if we can crash our front end by not passing in any follow list but it is what it is unknown coder let's go ahead and send that grab this guy copy it and then we'll go ahead and put it inside of our headers really quickly there we go paste that in let's go ahead and send that Let's hop in here, go to refresh. Let's see if it crashes because we don't have any list to show. Cool. Now if we click pin, there we go. It goes through. We either remember our request body. So now that should be at the top. So now if we go ahead and hop back into Postman really quick, let's just create another one. we we'll go in here, body, and then we'll go ahead and say a un and list. And then we'll go ahead and say a unpinned list here, a unpinned list and go ahead and send that go back in the front end let's go ahead and refresh now you can see the pinned list is on top this might not move um, but if we click on this it moves back like that so that is looking good well, the plan was to kind of create a modal this episode and kind of do some stuff with that but i think that we might just go ahead and hold off and just add that into the next episode just because it doesn't really fit with this episode and it fits in more at the next episode so i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here it might end up being a little bit of a shorter one after we cut out some of the debugging and whatnot but it is what it is so that being said y'all i think we're going to go and wrap up the episode here if you did enjoy please leave a like comment and subscribe everything helps out here with the youtube algorithm and if you do want to see where we started from absolute scratch to get to the point we are now there is a playlist going to be linked in the end card coming right up like over here over here with that being said y'all hope you have a great day that's been ethan or i'll see you all in the next video